What's up everyone, it is Baron today, we're going to be looking over the carrot. yes. So before we get into it, go check out our channel memberships and go use my Star Citizen referral code, but now we're going to get into it. So we're going over the carrot gun, why you should buy it. Now this is a fantastic ship and I do know I ripped on the Hercules series quite hard. Now for my opinion, it's not the best ship to have. It's not something that is going to be really as good as the carrot. I know it's going to have all those weapons on it and I know this doesn't even have missiles just like the Hercules, but listen to the video and hear me out of how good this ship will actually be and the actual future uses this is going to have. I mean it's not always going to have these uses right now but it's going to have a great deal to it when it comes out. So at the moment I've got the Expedition and that's why I pulled this out just for the demonstration. I do have others that I paid for in game so if you guys want to use them let me know because I have got plenty of them. So obviously as you can see we're going around the outside of I have named mine the USS uh, Event Horizon. If you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments because that is an awesome movie. So when I was actually had Event Horizon, which was kind of um, kind of sucked. So in here, you will see that I've got two Ursa Rovers. Now, one of them is on a bit of an angle, so it did make it a little bit hard when doing this video. I didn't really bother about fixing it because it didn't bother me too much. Now, this actually has an LTI token, and for some reason, it keeps taking the normal components off, and so I have to re-upgrade. It's kind of weird, but the 600i is not doing it, and the MSR, it's kind of weird. And they all have a LTI tokens. Don't forget to check out a Discord server and join, because that would really help, and you guys can chat to me in there. So as you can see, we've got two Ursa Rovers there. So three here, you've got your cargo in there. You've got your docking collar, so you can dock onto a station. So I guess when they actually bring the station, the ship to station docking, that will be utilized from there. As you can see here, we got our down below cargo area. So that's where you put your cargo. I mean, you can put them in the front area. It's all up to you. I mean, this is a little bit more time consuming. I mean, once cargo properly comes in, then this will be uh, quite well. So having these in there as well, we know this ship's gonna have three modules. We don't know exactly what they're going to do, but we do know one of the modules will be able to take an Ursa Rover or a Ballista Tonk. So these in here, I would be believed to be the modules as well. So where the actual cargo sits underneath those cargo boxes, that's where the modules I would believe to go. So as you can see, we've got another elevator here to go uh, between the levels. Now this one actually takes you all the way up to cartography, which is quite cool. And like I said, this ship has a lot of features. So if you're thinking about buying this ship, it's $600. The original one was like three or $400, which was, it was a good price, but I think people have realized the actual value of this now. So there's your weapons loader where you put your weapons and whatnot. Um, these work, you can put weapons in there, whether or not they stay in there when you leave them there, I'm not sure. I'll have to go check that out and let you guys know down. So that's the rear turret. Now this has four size four turrets, as I believe, which is pretty decent. It's not too bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the habitation deck. We're gonna show you around there. Now, with this actual, with this ship, it's got a medical bay. It's got an area where it has, it could possibly be a 3D printer to print components or whatnot. So we'll go over that. And you have a room with two drone pilot seats. So you can they can control two drones at each given time, but only control one with a function. But yeah, and you've got reinforced fuel tanks for extended travel as well, which is also really good. And like I said, at the moment, this is like $642, I think it is. I've just gone over and had a look in my, uh, when I do like a, um, a ship change on the actual um, ship pack but yeah it's it's all different it's yeah you have to have a look at it if you do have one of these exploration packs i have the exploration mega pack which no one else will see it's just a um uh, uh something for chairmans at the moment so as you can see those two rooms had like um some things that they're growing in there they're for the doctors as well so they could be like herbologists uh herbs um to help for healing and whatnot now that would be uh, a door for the uh, the lift, not the lift, sorry, the um, ladder for the, like, to get around the ship, just, uh, yeah, in a function. And then we're going to go to the technical deck. So this is where everything sort of sits. I, so this is actually where the drone room sits and where you have the uh, 3D printer. So you can open the hanger from here and that's the service ladder. So I believe that's what the door down below would be for as well. But here we're going to show you the, um, the service deck uh, again. Uh, with showing you how the drone room works, I guess, and just the basic 
sort of concept behind it. So as you can see here, this is a room where you could possibly 3D print just in there on that wall. I think that apparently is a 3D printer so where you can create uh, components and whatnot. I would, I believe that's what I've been told, but it also says Anvil Repair. So I guess that's where you can repair uh, components or whatnot as well. So it's sort of like an engineer's room, but you do have a, a lower um, deck for engineers and whatnot. So here in here is the drones room. You got one drone seat and then you got another drone pilot seat and then you can actually, I guess, use that to deploy the drones to repair refill and whatnot i'm not too sure exactly what they're going to do we don't really know too much about the character like even though we do have the ship so those two little those that line up above there that's where the drones are going to hang from there's four of them like i said two the parts can be able to control two of them but uh one function at any given time but they're going to be able to control two it's going to be really weird how that works in the long run but going on from there we're going to go throughout the ship and show you around like I said, this ship is, it's full of surprises. You never really know exactly what's going on in there, especially being the ship that it is. I mean, it is so big, it's, it's, you can control, like you can go through it pretty easily, but it is like a little bit of a trick, uh, trick to do it. But as you can see through here, this is one of the tunnels through to the side turrets. And, uh, if you go through the back here, you've got your engineering, so your components and whatnot uh, fixed, and then you've got your lower engineering as well, and then you've got your room <laughs> there for the engineer. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, um, but really, it's a really well set up ship. I know I ripped on the Hercules, and for that I apologize. It did seem a little bit hard on the ship. I actually shouldn't have released it. I shouldn't have probably gone that hard on it, but I just don't see any use for that ship. I mean, you can use it for cargo. It does have more cargo space than the Carrick, but I just feel like this is gonna be a little bit more utilized. Um, it's gonna be better used. As well as this does have a scanning station. It does have antennas on the outside. So I guess you're gonna be able to scan um, and do some scouting in this as well. You might be able to do some data running in it. I'm not 100% sure. It does have a scanning room just like the, um, the MSR. But again, saying that, I don't. I wouldn't go and say that this is going to be able to do data running. You might even be able to do um, like spy on orgs and whatnot. It's just one of those things that you can use for. So through the top deck here in the cartography, obviously you got the cartography room there. You go out to the airlock, which goes and brings you out above the actual um, the hangar there, which is pretty cool. Especially if someone wants to EVA into the ship or they could just use the um, the airlock But like I said, there's just so many different aspects to this ship and just so many different uses that people don't really Comprehend what this ship can be used for and what you can do with it Like it's gonna be a multiple use ship in game. Like I said, it's got reinforced fuel tanks It does have 44,000 quantum fuel. So take that into perspective that you can do multiple upon multiple jumps in the current system that we have and just have like excessive amounts of fuel left over but that's all up to you i know everyone likes the hercules series but i feel that this is more value for money if you want to get one of these i would get the exploration pack or when the actual carrot comes out by itself in a small pack with the c8x pisces or the c8 um, then think about getting it if you don't have the money to get the bigger pack. But then again, you can use a CCU chain. I have melted multiple packs to get here. Uh, I did have the Entrepreneur pack, but I really wanted this mega pack as well because I have the 600i um, Exploration, you have the Carrick Expedition, you have the Taurus. I have put the MSR in here. I have CCU'd one of the ships as well. Well, after I did the, uh, the Dur. But like I said, this ship is really great. It's got a lot of uses for it. At the moment, you won't be able to use it for too many things. I would use it for cargo hauling at that because obviously that is one of the biggest things we got right now, but it's not really effective in such forms. If you do uh, like rock mining or if you do, um, what else can you do? You can go down in the caves and get ore down there. You can get Quantanium, Laranite, Taranite, Hadonite. Uh, you can get the dung down there and then you just create a um, cargo box and put it in the ship and go sell it. So that's one of the things you can also do is using that cargo area or the front room area. I did have cargo boxes in this one, but I didn't keep them just for that fact. But if you guys want to get a carrick, I would 100% guarantee that this is a ship that will have a lot of uses down the track. It's heavily well armed. You've got the med bay in there as well. That's a big plus is the med bay. You've got the drone room. You've got that 3D printer repair as well. So there's going to be a lot of uses to this. So let me know down in the comments what you think and what ships you got. If you have the Mega Pack or if you have the Exploration Pack, I would be really interested to know. But thanks you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Peace, and I'll see you in the verse.